hello everyone welcome back to my channel salesforce hunt and today i'm going to show you secure apex user mode database operations so this is spring 23 new feature so you have to know about these things right so if you want to learn something new so please watch this video until end it's very useful for the salesforce developer and uh, please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so let's get started without any further delay so let's explore this together right so if you have like uh, you know most of the people know these things like uh, apex already have two types of mode first is system mode or user mode right so system mode let me tell you what is this so system mode as we all know apex code runs in the system mode by default which means it will run with higher permissions and in system mode the class sharing keywords control the sharing rules so this is all about like system mode come to the user mode now you can specify the user mode access or your database operation and uh, field level security FLS and object permission of the running user will respect it here and it's always apply the sharing rules okay so as we all know these things right so you can use it based on this need and f let me show you the real time example of uh, this user mode or system mode how to check it and how to run along with uh, this spring 23 new features in apex right so let me move into the my developer console and before that here just click on this developer console and once you open your developer console you can create any kind of you know like apex class so let me close all tabs first of all okay and let me click on new and apex class let me create a new apex class that is called case controller handler or case handler something like that case handler apex class now you can see here case handler just click on this ok button and now immediately you can see my class name here right so you have to write some logic to identify this is a user mode or system mode based on the operation so how to do that let me tell you here so just public void test case view data right so this is the method under this method let me make it as a list here of the cases like all cases here and under this sql select id comma subject right from case object and after that you have to give this with a user mode this keyword right user mode so this one and let me print this all cases here let's say all cases here right and all cases dot size because list have this method that is called size right so let me save this one yeah so for now you can see uh, this is the first method let me show you and let me create another method like public void test case creation okay creation so let's see this user having the creation permission or not so you can check out this code let's say case c goes to you new case under here status these all required field that's why like I'm um, make it as valuable here origin origin here like email and the subject these all required field inside this object case mobile not mobile is not working something like that right and after that you have to give uh, this one that is called database method database dot insert and we have lots of things like uh, here you can see like callback everything you can access level so I need uh, insert insert with access level so you can use here this one right so now it's asking like s object so we already created this instance of this s object so you have to pass here and the dml operation 
and DMLA operation we have like a system accessible right so uh, remove it and here you have to do one thing like axis level dot we have two types of you know like mode we already discussed like system mode and user mode right for now I'm taking this user mode here and once you've done it now let me create another method here like public void test case uh, creation in system mode system mode or make it this meaningful name like user mode something like that right so once you've done it now you have to do again same thing just copy this code paste it here and change this user mode to system mode very simple let me save it and before that once you created this uh, apex class now you have to go to your salesforce org and under this setup just click on this setup you have to search your user if you have uh, another user so i already created one user and let me show you that one so under the quick find just search user click on this user and uh, select that user as you want so I already have this user and it's having the read only profile so let me click on this read only profile and under this profile let me check this object permissions of the case so let me search the object level permission oh, okay like object level object level so uh, or you can search here like this okay and uh, after that in the last you will be see this one here so under the case just you can see I have only read or view all permission right just focus on that one you cannot insert any kind of you know you know like new case that's why I'm writing this code here so just you have to check first of all this is user mode uh, it's having the view permission or not so we already checked it uh, it's you uh, this user have the view view all permission you can see this one right so just go to the your code and open the anonymous window right or before that let me show you once you click uh, created this class you can just logged in in this user and let me click on this user and make it duplicate this tab just click on this login here and let me open the developer console for this user and let me open my apex class here so now you can see my apex class let me execute this anonymous window and anonymous code here so how to execute new let me create the instance here like new handler under this one uh, or just you have to remove and dot you have to check your method here like this right so let me check this open log and click on this execute button so this first method is checking the user permission is view or not can user see this data or not like that so just let me execute this one and so let me execute this one here right and let's see so once you execute you can see the open log everything right so just click on this debug only and can you see here uh, I hope you can see this 27 means we have 27 records uh, this user can see uh, 27 records of the case object right so this is the first uh, method checking the user mode right suppose I already wrote some code here just focus on that one I'm checking this user having the create permission or not right so before that let me show you under the profile right so just here if you go to here or let me log out first this one right so just click on this log out and click on this one let me log in into this org and immediately here just focus on that one uh, in this profile let me open the user first of all and click on this user and now this user having this read only profile let me open the new window and 
this uh, user having this kind of you know like object permissions and based on this environment so just here just focus on that one come down and now you can see the basic read create edit right all the permissions here but based on the our object our object here you can see in my case case so case doesn't have any kind of you know you know like create permission that's why you will be see some error in my uh, code here let me tell you here how to do that right so once you execute this one right so let me execute this method that is called creation user mode so let me copy this mode here and let me try to execute this one or just focus this one because it's old you know developer console let me log in into my user and let's see so just let me open my developer console and once you open it just open your execute anonymous or before that you can open your you know like uh, class so how to do that let me show you here so just case handler you have to search like case handler right like case handler double click on this class immediately you can see my code right and uh, how to execute this creation method how to check this user have the create permission on the case object or not so just very simple just ins instantiate this case handler class dot and your method name so my method name here you can see this one and let me execute and click on this open log so once you execute immediately you can see system dot security exception dml operation insert not allowed on the case because of this is the user mode here just focus on that one we are using insert operation with the help of user mode so this user doesn't have any kind of insert permission or create permission that's why you can see the uh, error right so this is the security exception i hope you, uh, you got the answer right so just close it same thing you can use the system mode because system mode is by default so you will be able to create uh, this new case with the help of system mode so how to execute very simple just change this method to this method and let me execute now you will be see the successfully here you can see successfully created the case right suppose that one more scenario I have let's say this user doesn't have any subject field FLS permission so how to check it so you can check it inside this one let's say let me tell you here let's say any field permissions right so now you can see the field level permission right so you have to do one thing just click on this case here so we have the case object that's why I'm using this case in my uh, uh, like scenario just click on this view click on this added and this time I am unchecking this uh, subject field inside this one like a view permission let me remove it right once you remove it just save it and once you save it now let me try to log in into my you know uh, second user so my second user is a Deepak Tyagi let me log in into this one and once you log in case handler we have case view data right under this case view data I am using like subject uh, field but subject field doesn't have any kind of you know like FLS you will be see some error here definitely so let me execute this method and let's see so once you execute this one so let me close it because every time is session expired right so just click on this developer console here and let's see so once you come here just click on this open and the case handler right so let me click on this case handler and let me check the FLS uh, regarding this user so how to execute this one new let me copy this case handler class under this one dot let me execute this one and this is the very most important for us right because of uh, this user mode or system mode very important for us you can control based on your permissions right and uh, now here in spring 23 this is a new feature that is called user mode 
right so let me execute this one and let's see what happened so once you click on this one now immediately you can see no such column subject no entry case that is called fls related error and you can handle fls or you know like uh, profile level securities or object level security sorry object level and fls you can handle it here and you can check it right so this is the way to work on this new feature inside new release uh, spring 23 that's all from my side i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is very informative for us so please like share subscribe the channel and please turn on your bell icon and please turn on the notification bell icon so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching